been a, a, a very good win for us, um, completing eight games in 23 days. So that's a lot of games uh, over a 23-day period. I'm uh, really happy for our team because I think Georgia State's very good. I think they're going to win a ton of games uh, this year. And, and, you know, if you told me right now they're in the H2A tournament at the end of the year and they win their conference tournament, that wouldn't surprise me in the least. They're highly athletic. They've got older guys. You think about, you know, Seymour's uh, transferred from Utah originally, Murray State after that. Uh, the kid from Indiana, Hallwell, we did a great job on him. And, and really, Kurt Kegler deserves a lot of credit. He was on him the most, did a tremendous job defensively. Really proud of Mario's defense today, not just the 16 points, but the defense, the assists. I mean, he, he, did, he did a nice job for us. Uh, they're a good team, so that's a fantastic win. Really, uh, uh, you know, Lamar was exceptional today. We were struggling offensively the first 15, 16 minutes. He came in and gave his huge lifts, uh, made big shots, but had six rebounds four assists to only one turnover, and uh, you know, really had a great floor game and played very much under control out there. Uh, I was very excited uh, that uh, Schneider's minutes today, you know, Schneider started the second half because Eric had three fouls. He had 8.7 rebounds, had two block shots, did a really nice job for us, and he's just starting to come, you know, I mean, he, he, he's going to get better and better and better because he's a great kid and listens. So uh, I thought IJ's minutes, and you know, again, he's he's a steady influence out there. Five assists, zero turnovers. You know, played much better defense the second half. First half, he was gambling too much, and and we got hurt by it a few times. And you know, Q's second foul. You know, the official, which I really appreciate, said I blew that one. It was a mistake. It hurt us because he had to play tentative the rest of the half. But. Uh, you know, you know, Q, I expect so much out of him, and sometimes it's unfair. He's just eight games into his sophomore year, and really six games into his sophomore year because he missed two. And, uh, you know, but, uh, you know, eight of his 12 shots are threes. It should probably be a little better ratio on that and a little more middle game, a little more attack in the rim. But uh, really excited for our team, and uh, now we go into finals. Questions? Ben, have you seen a different Lamar Peters since, since Monday since you were slept? Uh, you know what? He's been he, he was great in practice. Uh, see what the day was out of the week. Monday, and so I think it was. It was Monday. So we took uh, we had to take Tuesday off for for NC two A rules, taking one day off per week. So he he had a very good practice Wednesday. I think he felt terrible about it, and uh, you know I think he's uh, you know he had a very good uh, floor game for us again against Oregon State, and today was his best game. You can see. Today, what he's capable of uh, when he's locked in, and he's going to keep getting better. It's just all about being, you know, having a great attitude, being positive, and uh, and being coachable and listening. But you, you know, you see what he's capable of. I mean, he's he's got a lot of high level ability. It's amazing, you know, when, when he gets his drilling going, his shot becomes better because he gets more lift out of his legs. I mean, like you know, it, and he has a lot of confidence. He's not lacking. In believing in himself. That's Mario. <clears throat> Same question. How important was it to get this win going into finals to give them some confidence going into the. It was huge because we're 6 and 2 now. Uh, you know, I, I think, I mean, what sounds better? 6 and 2, 5 and 3. What sounded better? You know, I mean, I, you're always thinking about, it. but not just winning, it's beating good teams. Like, that's a good team today that we beat. I mean, that team is a problem. Uh, you know, and I was not excited about playing them. We had to do that because of our RPI rule in the SEC. You know, we got to play guys that are going to be tough to beat uh, in this non-conference with all freshmen except for, you know, three guys. It's hard. But, you know, Ron Hunter is a heck of a coach. I mean, like, it, did, it doesn't feel like we won by 22 to me. <laughs> you know, it felt harder. And I, I don't know, when we were up at halftime, we were up eight. Uh, so I'm really happy. About you know how we play today. How excited are you for the next ten days off? You know, you mentioned I'm excited for practicing, stuff. but you know we're going to give them the next two days off because you know finals. I mean, you know we have guys that study all here at 7:30 and 8:30 tonight. We have five guys with 8 a.m. finals tomorrow. Uh, you know, and so we're getting ready for that. But I'm hoping that um, we can have good practices Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and work more on us. 
you know, when we're preparing for opponents, we're really locked in a lot to what they do and how we're going to respond to it and how we're going to attack them defensively, offensively. And now we can get back during these next four practices to execution offensively, you know, fundamentals, passing, continue to give. I should have doubled the post today as the coach in the game plan with Clayton because Eric got two quick fouls, and that was my fault, uh, just seeing his body. We didn't want to do it because we're leaving number one, and, uh, you know, he, he's a very difficult matchup as a four. Again, I can't say enough about Mario's defense today. I thought his defense was terrific. You mentioned Snyder's minutes. Are you happy with the depth in the post and the way that's coming along? Yeah, and EJ got seven. Yeah, and, you know, the good news is is that we're adding another good player here in 18 days, I hope. Uh, he, he practiced again yesterday, talking about Xavier Stapleton. And he's going to help us eventually. You know, he's going to be limited in his minutes probably the first three weeks to a month. But just having another guy who can get in there and, and, and as a high-level athlete. Uh, you know, and you can see... We played against a really athletic team tonight, and we're pretty athletic. Well, do you start practicing at the finals? Pardon me? When will that do? It went, as soon as, I mean, that's a great question because I'm just like you. I mean, I want to have him practice like ASAP. Uh, but he will practice as soon as there's nine hours that have been sent to the registrar. So Monday, uh, they have to have grades in by a week from tomorrow, but they can start putting grades in tomorrow. So, you know, some of the classes are already over. As soon as he gets nine hours in the bank, boom. And he's passing. My, my academic coordinator, who is the, I've told you this before, the absolute best, uh, Sawyer Bowering, uh, she told me he's poised to get a 3.67 with 15 hours pass. Now, if he comes through with that, I'll be very pleased. Because uh, I think he's going to be a really good player. Just to have him out there is going to help our team. Him and Stapleton back out there. And all of a sudden, the competition level gets better. We've already seen it in the last few practices, having Zay out there really helps us. Because now all of a sudden, you're getting better every day because you've got to compete. Like the best thing that's going to happen to Q Weatherspoon is Xavier Stapleton. Same thing with Mario Kegler. You know, him matching up against those guys in practice really helps them get better and helps him. How have you seen Kegler's defense improve from maybe game one until now? Yeah, well, I mean, he, he took, uh, you know, I, I switched it up to start the game. And this is, but they, they started number two instead of uh, 20. So we changed it with Q on him, and Q did a great job in the first five minutes, four minutes. But then I, I told him, you know, he was prepared to guard this guy. And, uh, I mean, just, I think he's taking real pride in it, you know. Is it, and we're playing man defense, you know, with team concepts to help. But it's still, that's my guy. You know, I want, I want to not let him score. And I'll tell you what, one time he made a play in front of our bench in the first half, and, like, he got to John a little bit, which, you know, I totally him against. I don't know what happened with IJ. That was really, you know, not good. I, I mean, we don't want anybody talking to the other team or to the players. You know, and part of it, they let it get away, you know, sometimes in the NBA. So these kids are watching. We cannot <coughs> emulate that. That is not permissible. So, but he, he really was excited. He, he made a great play, and then, you know, he said something to him. You know, you could see he was like, yeah, I mean, I got you. But I don't think there was any, you know, thing negative. Right. It was just, you know, yeah, I got you. So, you know, he, he has some pride. And I was happy about his minutes today. You know, he played the most minutes on the team with the exception of he and I, J, 30 apiece. Okay.